Hi, I'm Davis. And I'm Andy. We're the Game Grazers. It's like cheering our way through games. Yeah. And we're kind of in the middle of a cutscene here. Yeah. Right Are you going to hurt her? Tell me what you want! Do you think I should oh. go to the door? I think you should go to the door. You think? Should I open the door? I think you should open the door. I would open the door. Anna. Open the door, Andy. Anna! Elsa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Battleship Bay. Which always makes me think of the Botany Bay, which is, of course, if you know... <laughs> Good old Khan from Star Trek. Uh, That's his ship. Oh, Elizabeth. Anna. Anna. No, it's me, Elizabeth. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm Where good. Am I? No Back problem. In the land of the living. Here, let me. I'll be fine. Oh, I thought she was gonna go down on me. I said, God damn you. I'm sorry, that's where I go every time. Going down. Why don't you go up for a change? Loving an elevator. Loving an elevator. Living it up when I'm going down. I won't be long. I won't be long, Mr. DeWitt. Really? You're gonna keep calling Mr. DeWitt? For no. Hmm. <coughs> All right, I love this. Wait, you know, <laughs> it's the beach, right? Where is she? Yeah, I was like, "Fuck no!" <laughs> it's not the beach. How the f like how? Isn't that amazing? And I know. Then, like the water is spilling over the edge of this thing, and it's like that's a hell of a lot of water. But how do they get it back? Exactly. It's a lot of condensers up there. It doesn't even make any sense. I'm thinking they picked up Uncle Owen and Aunt Peru and he's got a bunch of condensers up there. That dude could make shit happen on Tatooine. He's got to make shit happen on Columbia. Can you speak bocce? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Love these signs. Every one of them is just amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, I was, I was reading an article a long time ago about... About uh, Half Life and Half Life Two, yeah. <laughs> and how the way that the gameplay works is that you have those intense moments, but then you have to have like sort of like the just kind of like oh let's walk about moments. Mm -hmm. So you have the parts like this where you're just engaging in the story, right, yes. right, and it's a very organic the way they're telling it. Yeah, but then like because you, you don't just be all action all the time, otherwise it gets boring. Mm -hmm. So you have these moments of reprieve so that when the action does come, you're like, oh, yeah. Hey, I need you to stop. And, of course, the time Half-Life was kind of revolutionary for doing that. Yeah. When you think about Doom and Quake and all those Please stop. kind of were, were littering the FPS landscape. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I could sit here for an entire episode and just watch this. I know. I actually could, too. Hey, it's, it, Miss not A, because it it's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Dance, come on, let's go. Why? What can be better than this? Uh -oh. about Paris? The first lady. Paris, how, I, I don't understand. How could we get there? That's where that airship's going. But if you want to stay and dance, we oh, gotta, got a ladder. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go right got a ladder, the ladies. Uh, just the animation on Elizabeth is fantastic. Oh, it's incredible. And they really um. They really made her into a living, breathing character for me. Yeah, like... Whoa, wait, bend over again, dude. Bend over again. I'm gonna just totally... Okay, fuck that. Let's go. Okay, Elizabeth, I'm just fucking with you. Just... I don't know. I'm trying to think, like... Elizabeth is definitely one of my favorite, like, video game females. Comstock. Yeah, and I think, um... She's never really the damsel in distress. Say what? She's never really a damsel in distress, which I think is a good No, yeah, it's a good thing. Like she's a damsel in need of help, but she's not in distress. Yeah. And yeah. she can carry her own weight. Yes, she can. And most of the time she carries your weight. Yeah. As well. Ooh. I'll take that cigar tin. Give me the bananas in the cigar tin. Yeah, see? Bananas in the car, car tin. I can't speak today. <laughs> I really need some health. That would really be a nice That'd thing be, right that would, now. Wow, your health is pretty low. Drink the, drink the booze until, yeah. I'm a little drunk. That's okay. She's my designated driver. It's just a set of elaborate pumps and rain catchers. That helped. Yeah, but uh, yeah. technology, man. Technology. technology. Cool. Cool. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going, Elizabeth? 
So uh, let's talk about, you know, speaking of escort missions, so, um, Ico, uh, yeah, Ico, I think, would probably be the best example of a well-done game that's nothing but an escort mission, because your success or failure is dependent upon how your, uh, whatever the girl's name. Yeah, I forgot the name, that's, we're talking old school here. Yeah. Oh god, it's that. Look at these, twins. they're amazing. Which ones do you like more? This one or or this? The bird is beautiful and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. I just think, can't decide. I'm thinking bird. What do you think? I picked the bird. So should I pick the cage? Andy, you're the one in control of the game. Okay, I'm picking the bird. It's the one on the right. Are you sure? Hey Andy. I'm sure. Yes. I'll ask him a second. I love it. Surprising. I expected the cage. If you're going to be a sore loser, then I shan't do this again. It's just sophistry. <laughs> oh my god. Sophistry is the best word. Oh my god. It has to be. Who else such a thing? How Are you alright? How could this happen? That was my home. Why did the prophet? We should get out of here. Let's go. Oh my god. I love it. So look, it's like Niagara Falls down there, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay, come on, let's go, Elizabeth. We got shit to do. Got shit to fuck so, up. So, in regards to your medallion, have you heard about the bird? A <laughs> bird, 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 bird. A bird, the bird is the word. Bird. <laughs> Never heard of the bird. Oh my god. Now that song's been going through my head all night. <laughs> oh, victory is mine. I need to eat some fucking cotton candy. I think, in lieu of having gotten second place at a voiceover contest, maybe you should start giving me, like, challenges. Like, just being like, hey, Davis, I need you to do this voice. <laughs> I'll just pull out the weirdest, most random voices. Okay. Hey, I need uh, Bugsy Malone. Um, I'm not sure what Bugsy Malone sounds like, actually. <laughs> I'm done. Ralph Macchio. Uh, I don't think I could do Ralph Macchio. Corey Feldman. God damn it. You keep pulling up people like I know their names. Oh, I don't know what fuck. they sound like. Okay, okay, okay. You got to know. Wait, hold on. I think I got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember this now. I love this. She was like a lock picking lady. I wouldn't mind picking her locks. Okay, what else? Um, trying to think of other voices that. that... How about um, Laurel and Hardy? No. I don't even know what Laurel and Hardy sound like. Oh, shit. I'm telling you, Davis. We need to have. You need to have my uh, extensive knowledge of movies. Apparently. I tried talking movies with Sarah, but that didn't work out. She's really? Like, I don't know movies like Andy does. Well, you know, we've got a good whole 10 years on me, and you, that means you've got like a whole like 15 years on Sarah. Yeah, I'm like old enough to be your dad. You're not old enough to be my dad. No, not your dad, but her dad. Why would you say such things, Andy? I don't know. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, let's see. How about uh, Morgan Freeman? Last I checked, Andy was going to go through that door. <laughs> oh, God, I'm totally off key. <laughs> Hey, baby, I'm supposed to give you the money while you're Looks on the like strip Looks like Elizabeth pole. gave him a coin. <laughs> and then he used it on the vending machine <laughs> in order to get some stuff. How was that? It was pretty good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. We were talking about Shawshank Redemption today, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just tell what an amazing game. Or, sorry, what an amazing movie that is. Oh, uh, yeah. want that. Oh, that's the... Yes. That's the couple that... We're about to get, like, bald in the face. Yes, they were going to get beamed. You, we have away. Daisy always said Stop looking at me. Like Stop looking along. at me. Seriously. Okay. That facial tracking was really depressing. <laughs> and off-putting. Right. Oh, I love this place. It's like Disneyland on acid. And racism. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Duke and Dimwit. I remember that now. I think it's a euphemism for something. Probably. Putting the man's rifle back dirty. Alright, I won't do that to all of them, but there's a bunch of them here. There are a bunch of them. Maybe oh. we can look at at least one more next time on Game Grazers. And we'll leave you with the motorized patriot. Thanks for listening.
across the Delaware. On bended knee, he accepted the sword from the Angel Columbia. Come on, folks. Show your allegiance to flag and to the nation. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw withhold.